And as you can see, slowly moving away, dragon released. And so the robotic arm now being backed away by the crew on board and the release coming on time at 1.41 a.m. Central while the station was a little over 258 statue miles over the central part of Australia. So they're now going to back the arm away and then a series of three burns will be executed using thrusters on Dragon to begin taking it away from the International Space Station getting a good view right down the uh, barrel of the robotic arm. You can see it continuing to back away. The first departure burn has begun. In Houston Station, Dragon Depart was commanded and we see VV mode departure. Houston copies. Station, departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two in approximately one minute. So the first departure burn good and in the books. The second one queued up next, taking place in just under a minute. That second departure burn will begin moving Dragon even further away from the International Space Station, setting it up for the third and final departure burn, which will eventually carry it out of what's known as the keep-out sphere and the approach ellipsoid. These are basically distances around the International Space Station uh, that govern uh, interactions between the station and any other visiting vehicle approaching or leaving the orbiting complex. Visiting vehicle officer confirming the second departure burn has begun. Station Houston, departure burn two is complete. Go for SSRMS safing. Perform step five in one decimal three two zero. You can expect departure burn three in approximately seven minutes. Monitor per step three in one decimal six zero two. Copy. Go for step one uh, five in one decimal three two zero, and monitoring step three in uh, one decimal six zero two. Good words, Peggy. So Dragon continuing to fly away, the distance between it and the International Space Station to which it had been attached to for the last month continuing to widen. It'll have one more departure burn to finally get it out of the station's neighborhood and well on its way back for an eventual deorbit through the Earth's atmosphere. And SpaceX's Dragon, the only cargo ship currently capable of returning uh, hardware back down to Earth, 
uh, through a splashdown into the Pacific Ocean. It's packed with over 4,100 pounds of vehicle hardware and science experiments and other uh, items from the International Space Station. We'd like to say just a couple words uh, for our, our friend that we just said goodbye to. Dragon's been an incredible spacecraft. I could even say it was slathered in awesome sauce. This baby has had almost no problems, which is an incredible feat considering it's the first reuse of a Dragon vehicle. And the science we've done, oh my, the science. Most of the 6,000 pounds of cargo carried was science, and almost all the return cargo are precious samples for discoveries we can't wait to see. In addition, Dragon brought up a host of external experiments. We've added an external platform for science, a neutron star analyzer, and a new solar array that rolled out like a party horn on New Year's Eve. The science of this mission has been nonstop. And we think the scientists will be extremely happy with the volumes of data we gathered for them up here in space in our floating world-class laboratory we call home. There are thousands across the world to think, but a few big ones at SpaceX, Brian Coffey, Sarah Walker, and Artie Matthews, and at home in Houston, Kelly Hallman, Joey Crawford, Matt Wilkinson, Ryan East, Cal Brogdon, and my buddy Dina Cantella who put it all together. But really, for the whole SpaceX team, thank you for building us such a great vehicle and for finding us some good weather today to allow us to bring home the science on time. And for the worldwide team that makes our daily search for discoveries possible, thanks for letting us play a small role. That's speed, air winds, Dragon 11. Houston Copies and Two Fish and Peggy, nice words on behalf of the SpaceX and NASA team. Thanks for all of your hard work. It would have been possible without you. Some eloquent words from the King of Awesome himself, NASA astronaut Jack Fisher, as both he and Peggy Whitson say farewell to the Dragon spacecraft, which a lot of the cargo on board has consumed their lives for the last month as they burn through thousands of pounds and dozens of different ex science experiments, many of which now making their way back down towards Earth, which you can see now shrouded in darkness, the International Space Station and Dragon just passing into an orbital nighttime, just crossing the Terminator line, that line between night and day on the Earth's surface. Dragon continuing to depart the area from the International Space Station. Coming up will be uh, that third and final departure burn. We'll stick with it until it's uh, out of the approach ellipsoid, that uh, area around the station where vehicles coming and going from the station are closely watched uh, and worked with uh, the teams here in Mission Control Houston, but everything going very smoothly and on-time release of Dragon at 1.41 a.m. Central Time, 2.41 a.m. Eastern, while both uh, Dragon and the station were flying just over the central part of Australia. Uh, this, of course, setting it up for a splashdown in the Pacific, about 260 miles to the southwest of California. Uh, the splashdown time was pegged to be approximately 7.41 a.m. Central Time, so just about six hours uh, exactly after uh, the release, but that uh, could of course change over the course uh, of the next several hours, uh, but that's the target time. It'll be 541 in the morning uh, over on the West Coast in California, uh, where teams from SpaceX will be standing by to pluck Dragon out of the ocean, get it on a boat, and get it back into harbor to begin unloading all of that cargo on board. Again, a little over 4,100 pounds packed inside of the pressurized Dragon module which will, uh, in just a couple of hours, be making the plunge through the Earth's atmosphere, the heat shield protecting all of that critical cargo on board from the heat of reentry, getting it down to a parachute-assisted landing in the Pacific Ocean for retrieval and delivery back to the coast. But everything going smoothly with this morning's operation. We'll just watch for a few more minutes while Dragon heads off into the black. Uh, everything going very well with uh, the end of this SpaceX's 11th commercial resupply mission.
Getting confirmation the third and final departure burn has begun. Again, this just to continue getting Dragon out of the area of the International Space Station, putting it into its uh, eventual uh, deorbit attitude and deorbit positioning. Uh, that splashdown scheduled to come a little under six hours from now. Uh, splashdown into the Pacific where Dragon will get picked up by teams from SpaceX, but the third and final departure burn underway. Dragon soon will be out of the keep out sphere and the approach ellipsoid and on its way back to the Earth. Burn three is complete. Dragon is outside the keep out sphere. Mission copies. 